And right on cue, the full-time whistle at the Tallis Stadium greeted with huge cheers of celebrations for Shamrock Rovers and their fans. Stephen Bradley side inch ever closer. A huge three points tonight against their great rivals. And uh, really, Bows were second best, you have to say. Very strong second half for the champions and uh, some quality goals as well. Well, Keith Jorman in the match, uh, Lee Grace opened the scoring just before half time, and Rovers really after that never looked back. Yeah, it was a real look. I called it beforehand. I said if Rovers can score here, it'll be a real sucker punch before half time because it's such a different feel going in nil all as opposed to one nil down. Bowes went in one nil down. They came out in the second half, we're expecting them to really start putting, you know, balls into some decent areas, get a Falabi involved in the game. But Shamrock Rovers never really get Bowes a chance to grow into the game. They just smothered them, got the second goal, and the, the quality they bring off the bench. It just re it really is so intimidating to think we're coming into the last 20 minutes, we're getting a bit leggy, and then you look over, you see the likes of Ferruja coming off the bench, and we've just seen the amount of quality he has with. The brilliant finish and obviously Finn's, Finn's finish as well was really, really good. Rovers really good in an attacking sense. We all knew we knew that about them already. But that defensive solidity with the clean sheet is starting to come back. So I think the rest of the league will be looking at this and thinking we're seeing uh, shades of the old uh, Shamrock Rovers. Yeah, well, it uh, looks like it's getting better for Rovers tonight as well because Shell's ahead against Pats. It looks like the uh, gap will be seven over Pats at least and uh, indeed Jerry as well but Jerry do have that game in hand and they play Rovers next uh, in a few weeks time isn't it so that now is a huge game isn't it Derry and Rovers yeah Derry and Rovers a huge huge game and these these Shamrock Rovers players there's so many of them that have been in this position before they know it they, they it's all familiar to them maybe the Derry players you can say they were arguably in a race last season for you know somewhat of the season I don't think they ended up winning it by 14 points so it wasn't much of a race but these Shamrock Rovers players they just don't seem to panic and that comes from Stephen Bradley down there were so many times with in the season when they got beat in Europe when they got thrown out of Europe they all looked at Stephen Badley and said is this the beginning of the end are they starting to go over the hill and Stephen Badley was having absolutely none of it he said no nah, that's not going to happen there's too much quality in this team we will get it right and like I say we're starting to see signs of that and Stephen Badley was the calmest man over the last couple of months and you can see why he knows the talent he has in that room yeah plenty of experience in that Rovers uh, team and Ronan Finn getting the goal early in the second half and then Perugia off the bench with a quality finish so uh, Sean McRovers get the job done tonight and move seven points clear it seems at the top of the table back to you Tommy uh, thanks to Trevor and Keith uh, Shamrock Rovers three Bohemians nil and just behind us here the Shamrock Rovers players are taking the salute taking the cheers taking the appreciation and the applause from their supporters because they Ian Morris, they've delivered a performance fit for champions this evening, haven't they? Yeah, I thought they were excellent tonight. They dominated from start to finish. You can see what it means to them, Dale. They knew how big of a result tonight was. You get crabs are there in front of the, the home crowd, fist pumping. They're all behind the uh, behind the manager. They're t doing a lap of the pitch. They know how big that was going forward with the table, especially with results when you look around the league. Yeah, it's uh, late stages uh, at Talca Park. Shelburne won, Pats won. Derry are doing the business in Dundalk. We'll talk about all that later in the programme. I'm going to show you the goals from uh, around the grounds. Let's just stick to, to Rovers and the performance that they delivered this evening, Vinny. How good were they for you? Yeah, I, I think the goal just before halftime was obviously key, but that aside, I just thought there was a calmness about them. They looked like champions. They played like champions. They had a calmness. Uh, people were expecting it maybe... Bowers could have caused them problems, but they showed real experience, and you've got league winners, multiple league winners in the dressing room, and they paid off tonight. They, I thought they were exceptional. That's the best they've played in a long time, and that's a real shot in the arm for them. And going forward, trying is to it, win the league. Is that what it's about, though, at this time of year? That the big players deliver on the big nights, and, and, and Rovers had them this evening. Yeah, and you look where the goals come from. Ronan Finn, like one of the most, like Ronan was exceptional to tonight for them, and uh, he's heading to win multiple league titles he's a serial winner and he's so important to this dressing room but all the top managers whether it's Pep Guardiola Stephen Bradley all of them all over the world talk about calmness and nights like this they remain calm and I don't think you could say that about that Bowles performance 
How, how much credit does Stephen Bradley deserve for, like we talked before the game about the low they would have felt after the European disappointment, how big that is for the club, getting them refocused, getting them going again, you know, resetting their goals, talking about four in a row and, and getting a getting performance like that out of them. Yeah, I, I think he's been a different class because even I mentioned before the game, there's people speaking about uh, it's the year always could be caught. It's people are ch catching up with them. They're there. And, and to go out and deliver a performance with that, with that much quality, and as well, they've got players coming back off the bench. You see they the did, impact they that did. defenders come off. And they, and the and they were all eager to contribute, didn't they? Neil Farouja, what a goal. Um, 